Hello, thanks for tuning in and for joining me in today's dumbbell workout, which has all been designed to add strength and shape to our body, whilst also burning those precious calories. We have some great music playing in the background, and also, as you can see to the side of me, I'll be using two sets of weights today. So I've got a three kilo and I've got a seven kilo set of dumbbells. All right, choose your weights wisely, and remember, if those weights get a bit too heavy, you feel like your technique's starting to go during the session, put those weights down and stick with me with body weight moves only. You still do really well, I promise. Uh, talking about the workout, it's going to be done in split into different segments. You're going to be working 40 seconds on each exercise, and then you'll have a 20 second break while I demonstrate the next move. Okay, remember if you start struggling on any of them moves, all right, just stop, all right, just mark on the spot or do an exercise which we just previously done what you're happy with doing. Okay, enough said. Make sure you have some water to one side, have enough room to move around. Now get yourself all set up, enjoy the workout. See Welcome to today's dumbbell workout. I'm looking forward to this session. And before we start the actual uh, workouts with the dumbbells, it's so important that we do a bit of a warm up. Okay, so we we'll start off with squats. Have your feet hit with the part, chest up. We're gonna go all the way down and then all the way back up again. Are you ready? Let's go. So a few little tips on technique. As we go down, make sure your knees do not go past your toes. All right, we need to protect those knees. And also, as we're coming up, let's squeeze our bum cheeks. All right, together. That's it. It's so important that we warm up our muscles, loosen our joints off, get ourselves ready for that dumbbell workout. Last few seconds. So each of these warm up exercises, don't worry, there's not many. Right, we're all 30 seconds opposed to the workout itself, only 40 seconds. Right, shake those legs off. So what we're gonna do this time, we're gonna do reverse lunges, all right? So I'll just show you from the side. Again, chest up, bring our foot back. Okay, you can put your arms out if you wish for balance. We're gonna go all the way down, knee just off the ground. Back in, and then we do the side. Just go down as low as you can, and you can use a wall if you wish on a chair for balance. You ready? Let's go. So you can see now I put my hands on my thigh. If you're going to do this, make sure it's the middle of the thigh, not the knee. So it's just slowly start feeling a little bit of a, a warm sensation in those thighs as you start to warm up. Might feel a bit like a burning experience. Nice stuff. Now, so keep going, keep that chest up, foot all the way back, right, shake off those legs. Still working lower body, bring our legs nice and wide, okay, it's a bit of a sumo stance. Now, all we're going to do is come down with three pulses, and then all the way back up. So when we pulse them, you just move it three or four inches, okay. Are you ready? Get in position. All right, chest up, let's go. And then we come back up again, squeeze your bum cheeks together with your right glutes. That's it. So we're not burning ourselves out on these warm up moves, like I, like I said earlier, we're just loosening off the joints. That's it, come on. Last few seconds. Nearly there. Well done. Shake those legs out, okay. So, legs nice and wide, even wider than you just had them. Now we're gonna do is lean over to one side and see if we get our arms to the floor. We're gonna come back up straight and then all the way to the side. I want you to feel a stretch, grab that groin area, okay, top of your leg. You ready? We're going that way. Let's go. Again, keep your stomach nice and tight. Stand tall, and then again. So everything's controlled, okay? All controlled movements. Don't worry, you can't touch the floor, just get down as low as you can. That's it. Well done. Again, shake those legs off. So we're gonna do a couple of cardio exercises now. Again, nothing too drastic. But you wanna keep it low impact, just the standing jacks. We're going to do high impact, loosen yourself up a little bit more. We're going to do jumping jacks, okay? When you're doing standing jacks, make sure your elbows push as far back as we can. You ready? Let's go. Check the standing jacks. Right, jumping jacks, getting the heart rate up there. So today's session, even though we're adding strength and shape to our body, we're only giving, I'm only giving you a for me. It's only giving you 20 seconds rest, okay? So that's not a long time to recover, so that means 
your heart rate is still quite high, okay? Which is good, fat burning. Three, two, wow, well done. Right, last warm up exercise. We're going to be either marching punches, get the knee nice and high. Low impact, we can do it where we're just leaving our, putting our heels up and down, okay, which is a fast march. Higher impact is if you want a little bit more, you get those knees up, okay, ready? We're going to go in three seconds. Again, this is only 30 seconds, remember? Let's make it count. Last exercise before we start the dumbbell workout. That's it, come on. I'm just mixing and matching, make sure it's fair for everybody. Last ten. Three, two, wow, well done, okay. So you should be all warmed up now. If you're not, feel free to do it all again, okay. Right, get yourself at the top, let's do the workout. Okay, so I'm using my seven kilo weights, and all we're gonna do is gonna go back to the squats again. So feet are width apart. We're gonna go down and come up, we're gonna lift that knee up, okay? You ready? So we're gonna keep swapping knees and welcome apart. We have now begun. Keep that chest up, so use the same technique as we did in that warm up, okay? Knees do not go past those toes. And as we're coming up this time, all we're doing is lift that knee up, stomach nice and tight. So we're here for 40 seconds now. You see the timer there? On my left. There we go. Here you go. Remember if the weight gets too much, put that weight down. Stay with me when your weight moves on there. Now let's pick them up again. Okay, well done. So I'm gonna keep using the seven kilos. We're squatting again. But watch this, okay, so feet with the bar, we squat, and as we come up, we do a dumbbell curl, okay? So this is going to be into that squat, it's a nice and tall, stomach tucked in, with that bicep curl. You ready? Let's go. That's it. All the way down. When you're doing bicep curl, when you get to the top, I want you to big squeeze, okay? Twist those forearms round. That's it. So we're multitasking here, okay? We're working different muscles in our body all at the same time. Last few seconds. That's it. Well done. Right, okay. So we're still to the squats. Right, shake from the side of the reverse lunge. So, waist just stay to the side. So we're going to squat, come up, foot goes back, all the way down, all the way up, back in, and we swap over. If you're not, if you're not sure we're balanced, don't use the weights, okay? You ready? So it's squat, up, reverse lunge, back in. So other side, okay? So it's squat, up, back, in. Get to your own time. Do it your own pace. Everything's controlled today, okay? So don't want any sort of movement. That's it. So what do you reckon doing strength work like this with music? Would you prefer it with music? Or would you prefer it just for me instructing? Let me know in the comments below, okay, and I can amend it around you. Right, okay, so, I don't know if I can do this with, with the sevens, but I'm going to give it a go. Right, lunge it forward this time. So we're going to lunge forward, okay. Let's give that lunge, we do an upright row, and then back in and swap over, okay, push me. So forward, into that lunge, palms facing you up, down, push back. Again, if the weight gets too much, drop it. Well, where do you go with that door? Well, don't literally drop it. You know what I mean. Just 
back. I'm shooting my knees. I should have mentioned this right at the beginning. But I'm shooting my knees and all these moves. Just go, you, go down as low as what you feel comfortable with. Right, we're going to do that again. Loose off the shoulders. Get yourself a quick drink if you wish. Right, just to remind you, if you do a squat, coming up, I knee. Okay, so this is the last round of this segment, all right? In position, let's go. So, as you gather by now, we're working mainly the lower body. That's it. Again, keep that technique, that's so important, all right? Knees do not go past the toes. So important to protect those knees. Still be nice and tight, chest up. Keep going. Leave it there. Well done. Right, loose off those shoulders. Next exercise, we're back to squats. We get the feet in with the bar. All the way down. As we come up, we we'll take our hands straight to that bicep curl. Okay, try and keep your elbows next to that rib cage. You ready? Let's go. Last time round. Nice control movements. That's all you're going to hear me saying all the way through the session today. Keep you something nice and tight. So these are the kind of sessions what my clients do here in the studio. And they also do these videos at home to help complement the work they do with me in the studio, okay? There we go. Keep going. Oh, we need to get that bicep curling. Well done. So back to the reverse lunges again. So remember, you can always put these down if you don't want to a chair should you wish. The balance of the wall. Squat down, all the way back, stump it nice and tight, down, and then back in, squat, and then we do the other side. Okay, ready? So I'm going to start on my left leg back. That's it. Squat, keep that chest up, back in, squat, that's right. <laughs> stump it tight the whole time. Yeah, you know, without you realising, you should just get the right workout today. Is it all forward over here? I'm all right in the reverse one, Jess. The forward one is getting me all the time. That's it, come on. Get on, Lundgren. All right, well done, shut those legs out. Talk about forward lunges. Again. Set yourself with the weight, okay? You can always lower it or lose the weight altogether. So forward lunge, all the way down, up right row, back down, push in, swap over. So I'm going to start my right, all the way down, get your balance first, up, down, and push back that front leg, okay? So in point, get your balance first, otherwise you fall over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Keep going. Chest up. What we're doing last time, that's right. Sticking it in. Keep going. Last time. Last time, come on. Up, down, push in. Well done. Right, break time. Put your weight down. Right, this is chance to give yourself a shake off, okay? I'll be back within about 10, 15 seconds, all right? If you need longer, just pause me. I'll see you in segment two. Don't go away. So welcome to segment two of today's workout. Remember, like I just mentioned, if you need longer experience, take it, okay? And then come back when you're ready. Right, we're gonna start with now body now. You might notice I've lowered down now to our three kilo weight. Don't worry about if it's a light weight, leave where you go, I don't. What we're going to do, slightly bend our legs, chest up, 
we're going to do a fly, a reverse fly, then we're going to come down, we're going to do a bicep curl. So it's all the way out, all the way up, okay? You got that? Right, so pick up your weights, get yourself in position, lean over, look at me, let's go. So your body is going to go and slick your back up, okay? So keep looking at that floor if we can, but still keep your chest up, if that makes sense. Right, try and get your shoulders blades together as you bring those arms up. And then I want you to have a big squeeze when we're doing those arm curls, okay? That's it. You're smashing it, we're going to shake from the side. That's a big squeeze at the top, all the way down. Then extend those arms out. Right, three seconds. Well done. Right, shake those arms off. Right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to straight from the side. Right, I want you to dumbbells together. Now we're going to go down into a squat. Dumbbells come between our, between our legs at the back and then up to shoulder right. So we keep squatting as we bring our arms up, okay? Here it is. Let's go. Again, control movements. We don't want our arms up here. We don't want momentum to help lift those weights. Nice, slow. Control movement, squeezing that bum again as we come up, okay? Chest up, taking that lower back. How are we getting on? Two weeks of weights, like I said earlier. Put the weights down. 10 seconds, make sure it's nice and tight core. That's it, come on. Well done, right. Okay, shake those arms out. So this next one, you do it with or without weights, okay? So, arms with your shoulder right. We're gonna bring the foot behind the other. We're gonna go down into a curtsy lunge. And all the way down there, we're gonna lift up and back in and swap pull over. So the other side down. So, leg behind. Come all the way down, get the balance. Up, down, in. Now you know why I'm the weight. <laughs> So importantly, get your balance first. Again, you can do this on onto a wall, just using one weight or no weight. Body weight works great. You shouldn't have an heavy weight. At this moment in time, unless you're an island warrior. And again, with that stomach, I keep saying it all the time. Nice and tight, I'll okay. take. Okay, well done. How did you go? Alright. <laughs> Next exercise. Uh, weights close together. Oh, we're going to up from here. We're going to go up. So shake from the side. So we're going down, just going to pick them up. All the way up, okay? Are you ready? Let's go! Now, so again, it's what we call compound, compound moves, which means we're working so many muscles in one move. <laughs> These are the kind of exercises you need to do. You get a quicker effect, okay, in less time. So as you're coming out, we can have our hands out to the side. And you can just keep your dumbbells together, okay. Keep that chest up there. Keep squeezing those bum cheeks as you're coming out of that squat. So that's time around for me. Okay, well done. Right, so we've done all those moves. You remember what we did? <laughs> right, I'll show you again. So now we're on the second part of this segment. So, legs slightly bent, chest up. So you're sticking your bum out. All the way up, stop. And then we're gonna do a bicep curl, okay? You ready? All the way out, down, up. Out, up, that's it. I'll show you from the front. So we're keeping that over all the time, like I mentioned earlier. Your body, when you're realizing, a lot of you coming up here, we don't want to do that. And we need to protect that lower back as well. There we go. So we're trying to get the shoulder blades together to come out with our arms. And as we come up, we're trying to squeeze our hands against our shoulders. That's it. Keep going. Well done, well done, right. Dumbbell swings. So again, we did this earlier. 
dumbbells together, straight from the side, back into that squat, lots of squats today, stop at shoulder right, back down, squeezing our bum as we're coming up, core engaged. Ready? Okay, let's go. So, today I've just got a couple of shout outs, okay? One's for Dave, he works for me, he trains with me in the studio, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, he does these sessions at home. So keep going Dave, You're doing really well mate. And the next one's also for Sarah and Martin, there's a couple who do these at home together. Again, keep smashing these workouts, really on you. Last time, keep those comments coming in. That's five. Okay, well done. Right, we're on those, sorry, can I say sorry? Casey uh, Lingers, if I can't, then bleep that out. Right, hands on your shoulders, foot goes behind. We go down, we get our balance once we're down here. Do our shoulder press and back up. That technique goes, put those weights down, okay? Let's go. Oops, I need to run there. All the way down, press. So, I'll be mentioning it on my walking workouts, on the aerobic workouts. If anyone would be interested in me doing a live workout on YouTube. So I'm going to put it to see how we enjoy doing the strength workouts. Would you be up for a live workout with me on YouTube? Doing similar kind of work as this? If so, let me know in the comments below. Well done. The hardest thing is everyone's from around different parts of the world. So it's getting a time what suits people, okay? Because I can't the five, six in a day. Just the one. Right. Body snatch. Legs wide. Uh, dumbbells together if possible. As we come up, we're either pushing up there or we're pushing out there, okay? Let's go. So you see me with my technique. As I'm doing it, my palms come towards you. So you don't have to do that, okay? You can go all the way straight up. It's just what I've got accustomed to doing it through all those years of me training. That's it. It just works more muscles in your shoulder joint, that's all. But this is fine. You're still working necessary muscles. Five seconds. Okay, well done. Right, the segment smashed. Right, get yourself a drink. See you back here in about 20 seconds. Don't go away. So welcome to the final segment where we're going to be on the floor, working out core and working out back at the same time. So the first exercise, with or without weight, okay, we're going to be in a plank position, have your feet slightly wide, body nice and straight. And all we're going to do is bring one weight up to our chest, back down and then the other side, okay? You ready? Let's go. If it gets too much, all we need to do is stay in that plank position. So I'm using the seven kilos on this one. What we're trying to do is not do this, okay? So we're not, our hips are facing down all the time. Again, core, nicely engaged. And again, without the weight, we can still lift our hand up, or we can stay in plank, okay? So it's up to you. I'll just get the weights back. <laughs> right, all the way up. Again, if it's too heavy with the sevens, lower it down. Need it there, one more. Okay. Knees on the ground. Right. This is on our back. So you can have your feet next to your bum. Or you can have it 90 degrees, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to come up. Have your, have your weights on your chest. We're going to come up, shoulder blades off. Punch, punch, shoulder blades by down. Are you ready? Let's go. Up. Punch, punch, down. Okay, the most important thing is those shoulder blades are high off the ground. When you've got your feet off the ground, right, you've got to use your core more. Get into that crunch first, okay, before we punch. If the punching gets too much, just hold the crunch for a second, all the way down. 
How are we feeling? 10 seconds left, come on. That's it. Let's stay up now. Shoulders off. Punch, punch, punch. Well done. Right, okay. Next exercise, what we're going to do, we're going to teach one weight. Just have one in front of you, okay. Now we're going to do that plank in the bit, uh, in the weight in the middle. We're just going to tap the plank and back down again, okay? You ready? Let's go, put it nice and tight. Put it on this side, eh? Put your feet together on one foot, on the other. Car engaged. And if it's too much, just put your knees down. But keep your body nice and straight, okay? From your knees all the way up to your shoulders. That's it. I'll keep mixing and matching it. But you get a, it's really good for your car. That's it, you're strong enough for it at this moment in time. Just feel one foot. That's it, nearly there. 10 seconds. Let's push it. Come on. Did you wings around? All right, knees down. Well done. Right, okay. Last exercise. So it's, right, it's not actually the last exercise. Last exercise of this round. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Right, okay. One weight. Just on your chest. Lift up on my side now. Just try and get your heels off the ground. You're in a good position. All right, slowly then. Lower your bum switches off the ground. And then lift up again. Imagine you've got a rope around that waist. If you want a little bit more, bring that weight onto your ribs. That's it. Try and keep our tiptoes. If that's too much, you feel like it's cramping because we're working our calves as well. Just put the heels on the ground. Let's try and lift that bum as high as we can, okay? If you haven't got your weight on your hips, make sure you're holding it, otherwise it'll roll back and catch your own face. We don't want to do that, do we? That's it. Three, two, one. Well done. Put that weight down. So you know what we're doing now, okay? Back to those renegade rows. I'm sticking with my sevens. We can always mix and match, right? It doesn't matter about the weight, so long as the technique, right? Right. Are you ready? So last time round, let's make it count. Okay. Oh. Remember those hips nice and straight. Facing downwards. That's it. Core engaged as always. How many times have I said that today? That's it, core. Keep going. We don't have to go fast, everything's slow today. Hit it there. Try and get your dumbbell to your chest if we can. Okay, knees down. Well done, right. Back to those crunches. Everyone on the back. Get your weight. So just a quick reminder, feet next to our bum. Well, feet at 90 degrees. Come with that crunch, punch, punch. This time we're getting last 10 seconds. We're just gonna stay in that crunch, okay, you ready? Let's go up, punch, punch. So last 10 seconds, we're just going to stay in that crunch. I want you just to punch constantly. Oh, oh, I'm getting it wrong now. There we go. I'm a bloke. I can't talk and work at the same time. There we go. Make sure the shoulder blades off the ground before you do that punch. Get ready. Right, last 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's stay up that crunch. Punch, punch, punch. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. You can do it. Two, one. Okay, well done you. Right. So, back to that tap again. This time, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a sturdy floor, you can do this. But don't try and get the dumbbell on your hand, okay? I want a little bit more, so I've lifted one. my weight onto its hand, end, okay? Tap. One by five kilograms. If you're on carpet, I just doing this. Just in case it falls on each other hand. That's it. And again, if that's too much, on our knees. Or if it's too little, you're on one foot. Keeping those hips facing down all the time. 
14 seconds, come on. Keep going. We've got one exercise left after this. Nearly there. On to your knees, right. Glute bridges. Roll over onto our back. Are you enjoying today's session? This is the last exercise. Come on, we're going to smash it. So okay now. I'm going to keep my weight. Just on my underneath my beer belly. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way up. I'm on my tiptoes. You ready? Let's lower slowly. Do not touch the floor if possible. And if it's too much on the front of your feet, just lower those heels. Now, if you wanted more, if you do the session again, obviously, go for an hour weight. You have two weights there as wish, if you wish as well. Also, going to make it a little bit harder. Every time we go up, we can do a press. Okay, again, we're multitasking. You do what you do. 10 seconds. Keep going. You're awesome. Okay. Well done, put that weight down. Right, workout complete. Let me get my breath back. <laughs> workout complete, okay. Are you enjoying today's session? Keep coming back, try for at least three or four of these type of sessions each week and combine it with the hit cardio and the walking workouts that I do, okay. Alongside the health and nutrition, I promise you it really help your health and fitness journey. Cool down to now, please do it. Three, four minutes, just me stretching off. The less chance of getting aches and pains the next morning. Finally, thanks ever so much for you uh, doing the videos with me. Sure, I'm not doing it on my own, all right? Keep those comments coming through. It's great to know how you're getting on, all right? And if you've got any friends and family, you can soon to these sessions. Help share these videos on social media with them. And let's grow this Boost Fitness TV club, uh, group together, okay? Enough of me walking on now. I'm out of breath. You take care. Until next time, bye. Cool down, I hope you enjoyed the workout. Remember, like I mentioned in the outro, keep up the work, okay? It really pay off, I promise, okay? So cool down. Legs nice and wide, all right? Keeping those legs straight, we're gonna come all the way down. Just watch that lower back. Right, so when you're down here, I wanna try, without forcing it, just try and go down a little bit lower. So that nice stretch in the lower back, you should feel it back your legs as well. Okay, we're going to move over to our right. So, who uh, can switch the right foot, you show off. Yeah, let's do it now. Let me burn down that leg. Feel that nice stretch. All right, let's slowly go to the side. Legs still straight. Extra reach now. Okay, back to the middle. Put your hands on your thighs. Just slowly the upper body. Well done, just shake those legs out. Okay, your right leg, right, you can get a little tip and balance it. Right, so you spread your toes on that right foot. If you want to lean onto the wall, that's fine, right chair, right? Otherwise, you're going to put this arm out, your right arm comes out, take over that foot. Once you've got that balance, bring your knees together, and if you want to show off, right, you can put your right arm then behind your back, onto that heel and then give yourself an extra lift on that left foot. Got a nice stretch in your thigh. Let it fall over. Right, shake off. Right, other side now, okay. So I'm gonna spread my left uh, toes. Okay, my body weight's on my left leg. Okay, my arm comes out. <laughs> right. Once you got that balance, okay, get your knees together. Stand nice and tall. And then goes behind your back, try and get hold of the heel. And then from that position, with your right hand, just lift that foot up just a little bit more. Well done, and shed those legs out. Right, next exercise, we're going to multitask. Right, we're going to work by the one muscle. Right, so a nice stride distance, okay? And your feet point in the same direction, both heels are on the ground. We're going to overlap our hands and then push forward. We're going to lean forward, okay? So you should be able stretch on that back calf. At the same time, we're going to push your hands away so you've got a nice stretch. Between your shoulder blades. Okay. Let's turn around again. Nice wide stride. 
feet the same direction, heels on the ground, we're going to lean forward, but this time our arms are going to come as far back as we can, okay? Thank you, as heels on the ground. Okay, let's stand up. That's our lower body. Shall we start working the upper body? Okay. Right arm across our chest. We'll keep behind the elbow there. Look over your right shoulder. And as you're looking over, I want you just to pull that arm around a little bit further. Get an extra stretch there. Okay, lift this arm up in the air. Jenny, put your hand behind you. Jenny, just apply pressure on that elbow, pushing it down. You don't have to go too far down. Just a nice stretch. Back here around there. Okay, on the side. Looking behind that elbow. Look over. That left shoulder. Give it an extra pull on that arm. You feel so well. Arm up in the air. Arm behind your back. Back's coming off. Check over the elbow and apply gentle pressure. Just pushing it down. Okay, this time, I just massage, put your hands on your hips, okay? And all we're gonna do is lean backwards, okay? So lean back, so you feel a lot better, that stretch. Nice and slow. How far can you lean back? If you don't fall over. Let's go back up. One more time. That nice stretch, that lower back. Oh, okay, she's facing me. Right, we're going to push up, ears on the ground, push up as high as you can. And then I want you to grab hold of your right wrist. I want to start from both of them, so we're to go to Okay, so pull that arm over your head. To the side. Feel that stretch. Big circles. Nice and gentle. Okay, arms out. Thumbs up in the air. Rotate those thumbs backwards. Okay, rotate them forwards. Right, arms as far back as we can. Now you give yourself a round of applause. You did awesome, okay. Right, that's it from me now. You take care, have a good day, I'll see you next time. Bye.